There aren't a lot of emergencies that trigger the same amount of internal panic as getting something painful in your eye. It's when you're blinded and in a hurry to find relief that eye wash stations need to be available and ready to use. There are four major types of eye wash stations. Plumbed eye wash stations, self-contained eye wash stations, personal eye wash units, and drench hose eye wash stations. This video will focus on plumbed eye wash stations. Before we dive in, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Thompson Safety. Thompson Safety is one of the fastest growing full service safety companies in North America, supplying on site first aid, fire protection, AED, eye wash, and safety services. Check them out at thompson safety.com. Now let's get going. Plumbed eye wash stations should undergo weekly inspections. Here's how Step one. Make sure all pathways to your eyewash stations are free from obstructions and trip hazards. You don't want to add a trip and fall injury on top of rushing to flush chemicals out of your eyes. Step two, make sure the nozzle caps are present and are in good condition to prevent contamination. Step three, check the cleanliness of the nozzles, the bowl, or the sink. Clean it if you need to. Step four, Activate the eyewash station to clear out stagnant water and make sure it's running right. Step five, when you activate the eyewash station, watch to make sure both nozzle caps come off with the pressure of the water flow without you having to move them yourself. That way you're not stuck dealing with stubborn caps in an emergency. Step six, next, check the water flows within one second of activation. Step seven, if it's a dual stream eye wash like this one, make sure both streams rise equally to flush both eyes simultaneously. Step eight, check that the water is tepid or roughly between 60 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Water that's too hot or too cold can actually cause damage. So you want it to be a temperature that you could actually flush your eyes with for 15 minutes. Step nine, if you find there's sediment in the water, run the water until all sediment is cleared from the supply line. And step 10, make sure the water continues to flow steadily until you purposefully turn it off. If you find issues you can fix yourself, go ahead and fix them. Otherwise, report any issues to your supervisor or team leader and tag out the eyewash station until it can be repaired. Document the inspection on the unit's inspection tag and in a centrally controlled documentation log if you have one. Keep in mind that your eyewash stations are crucial emergency equipment, just like first aid kits and AEDs. We don't want them to fail when needed most, and weekly inspections are a quick way of making sure that they don't. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. As always, take care and stay safe. Hi. Rachel from Ally Safety here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the Ally Safety Toolbox Talk membership at AllySafety.com. There you'll find an entire library of videos that are created to make safety entertaining. I'll see you there at AllySafety.com.